Welcome to our channel. My name is Yvette and this is Tyler. Come along with us as we sail the high seas or hit the open road while we navigate and explore this beautiful planet our way. For those of you keeping up, we left our boat dry docked in Virginia for hurricane season and we're making our way to Washington State. Last week, we explored the Luray Caverns and also found the Dukes of Hazard Museum. We spent some time in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, visiting a friend, and we're back on the road making our way to Ohio. We used the app Hip Camp to find this amazing place to stay here in Rome, Ohio. This is the most darling place. This farm grows lots of corn and they also have a personal family garden, which we get to reap the benefits of a little bit later on. This beautiful homestead sits on 150 acres. The owner's house is across the street there. This is a bathroom and shower for us to use during our stay. And this is all ours to use. We've got the fire pit. It's just wonderful, those trails and a little lake area we're going to explore tomorrow. But we're loving it. Just getting everything organized, enjoying a quiet night. I'm going to make up some tacos and it will be early night for us and looking forward to checking everything out tomorrow. Like Yvette had mentioned, we found this campground on Hip Camp, which is an app that is kind of like Airbnb, except for camping. So people set up little campsites on their properties. Some are definitely a lot better than others. And this is the best one we've ever stayed at. They had hookups for the RV. They even had a bathhouse with running water, a shower, all the amenities that you could ever need. So if you ever find yourself traveling through Rome, Ohio, Hickory Shores is definitely worth the stop. Another nice thing about Hep Camp is there's usually only a couple sites on the property rather than a campground that has sometimes hundreds of people at it. So it's a little more private. The next morning, we got up early because we were eager to explore the property and get the lay of the land from the owners who so graciously shared their property with us. One of the cool things about this location is all the trails that the hosts have on their property. So we're gonna go uh, do some hiking today. Everything's super well maintained. They uh, maintain the trail, which is really nice. I found a mandible. Look at those teeth. I love true crime. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I love true crime. You but there's. Oh, look, they do have acorns. Fly. Acorn trees here, too. No, look at those teeth, though, Tyler. They're crazy. Field of itchiness. <laughs> Since there was an abundance of blueberries growing in their garden, the owners told us we couldn't leave until we picked at least a basketful. 
And of course, we couldn't offend the hosts, so we obliged. Those little flashes you see are the fireflies. Being from Washington State, where there aren't any fireflies, it was so exciting to see them light up at night. Definitely on my bucket list of things to see as we are crossing the country. We're leaving Ohio and we're heading to Indiana to see a man about some new coach chairs and a new couch. So cross your fingers because we don't like the design at all. It's really dated, but also for comfort. Uh, the captain's chair is kind of like sits a little side saddle. So Tyler's been dealing with that. So we're hoping that we find something good that works for our RV and it'll make it a lot more cozy and it'll look a lot better. We made it here to Rome City in Indiana. We are staying at Indian River RV Park. It's about five minutes from here. It's a little bit late in the evening, so I found a pizza place and we're gonna give it a try for dinner tonight. There's the little pizza place Yvette chose on this completely desolate downtown core at 4 p.m. on a Wednesday. I'm sure it's good though. Here comes the pizza delivery girl. Real authentic in there. We're just pulling down the road to RV Bargain Furniture Warehouse. Is that right? Um, and this RV furniture is made by the Amish. So it's been exciting for us to see all of the buggies on the road with the horses and people are very friendly waving as we pass by. And we look forward to hopefully finding two new coach chairs and a new couch for our RV uh, made with good quality here in the USA. Next week is exciting because we're gonna take you along as we go furniture shopping and also install our brand new RV furniture. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week.